ओके टुडे आवर टॉपिक आवर चैप्टर नेम इज ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन आई सी एस सी बोर्ड ओके सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग डिफरेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज और प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक इनहेटेंस पॉलीमोरफिज्म एंड डेटा एब्सट्रक्शन एंड इनकेप्सुलेशन then uh, we will learn what is object and what is class okay so let's start uh, object oriented programming concept uh, we are having two different type of programming concepts object oriented programming and procedure oriented programming in object oriented programming uh, first we will talk about procedure oriented programming procedure oriented programming where the procedure or the function or the function is the main part how a process will work that is the main thing okay their process is the main part but in object oriented programming as the name suggest object oriented programming or oop refers to languages that uses objects in ob uh, programming okay object oriented programming aims to implement real world entity likes inheritance data hiding polymorphism etc the main aim of oop is to bind together the data and the functions okay so what is the use of that what we can get from this uh, that means in procedure oriented programming one drawback is uh, from outside anyone can manipulate the programming codes they can see the programming code okay if they have knowledge about this but in they can use the data in procedure oriented programming other people also can use but in proced object oriented programming uh, everything we have to keep inside a class okay inside a wrap wrapper so uh, this is called encapsulation obviously uh, so from outside if we want if we want to secure our data and code we can make some provision that outside from outside no one can access the data okay so uh, we will talk about these things one by one the different type of uh, um, functions or the features main features four main features we will talk about the, uh, in this class okay so before that we will learn what is object an object is an instance of a class so what is that the object brings a class to the real world okay so a class means uh, you can say the blueprint means before creating a car first companies uh, different manufacturing companies like uh, maruti or uh, different companies they create the um, blueprint of that car okay so that blueprint is called the class and from uh, that blueprint they develop the original car that we can ride okay we can drive uh, we can use for our purposes so that car is the object okay so what is the definition from that we can get that an object can be considered as an entity that has a specific identity characteristics and behavior so an object in a real world can one of the following okay anything that may be uh, uh, apprehended intellectually to which a thought or action is directed anything that is visible or tangible okay these are the objects the characteristics of an object that we can use so what is class then already told class is the blueprint of an object so without class we cannot think about object okay so before creating a class uh, uh, creating an object we have to create a class either in a page in a computer or in our mind okay before that uh, before creating object we have to create that class that blueprint so for example uh, the nokia mobile or samsung mobile we take because i am having a samsung mobile so samsung mobile we are having different type of series uh, like uh, model number that is called like s series g series or um, a different type of series as are there so in mobile world the object terminology the mobile object that uh, different type of models these are called instance okay that mobile is a instance of class okay so it is having some state and behavior what is the meaning of the state and behavior for example 
स्टेट वी कैन से दैट मॉडल नंबर और कलर ऑफ दैट मोबाइल दैट इज कॉल्ड द स्टेट ओके दैट कैन चेंज दैट कैन वेरी एंड बिहेवियर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ बिहेवियर्स लाइक वॉट आर द डिफरेंट फंक्शंस वी कैन डू इन आवर मोबाइल सिस्टम इफ आई एम हैविंग स्मॉल मोबाइल सो इन दैट स्मॉल मोबाइल वी कैन ओनली कॉल वी कैन लिसन द एफ एम रेडियो और दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स वी कैन गेट बट इन आवर एंड्रॉयड मोबाइल्स वी कैन गेट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा फीचर्स लाइक वी कैन प्ले गेम्स वी कैन यूज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एप्लीकेशंस वी कैन वीडियो दैट आई एम डूइंग नाउ वी कैन डू वीडियो वी कैन मेक वी कैन रिकॉर्ड वायज इज ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज इंटरनेट वेरी इजीली तो दिज आर द बिहेवियर्स ऑफ दैट मोबाइल सिस्टम सिमिलरली इफ यू विल टॉक अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्ट अ कैट ओके so our dog okay we take uh, example of dog dog is uh, the object of our uh, dog is the object okay in that particular object that particular um, uh, thing uh, different type of breeds are there so that breed color of that dog these are called the state of that class or object okay and uh, uh, one dog can bark uh, you know how it uh, behaves uh like uh, with the other peoples that is the behavior of that dog okay so that is the difference we are having state and behavior for a class another example i am taking <clears throat> that is uh, suppose a class that is school so um, what are the state of that class a name name of the school that board Uh, total uh, student total staff and then uh, in which year that uh, that school uh, was founded like that this sort of things and methods that admission attendance examination different curricular activities these are the uh, behaviors or you can say methods of that class particular class okay so next topic that is uh, um i told earlier that a class is an object factory why we call a class is an object factory because uh, from one blueprint how many cars we can create means say, a manufacturing company how many cars they can create more than one n number of cars okay similarly if class is the blueprint then how many objects we can create n numbers so that's why we can say that the class is a is an object factory simple okay then uh, we will now we will talk about the four main features of an object uh, oriented programming the main concepts four concepts main four features first that is abstraction so what is an abstraction it abstraction abstraction means where uh, generally if you, when you are learning in class 9 already you have done this in class 8 also so this main thing that abstraction says that um, the essential features it shows when a class shows object shows only the essential features and hides the complexity of the program that is called ab data abstraction for example suppose we we have a mobile system we know how to work mobile system how to use mobile applications but uh in back side back side what type of processing are going on we don't know we don't bother about that also so this type of complexity company also never tells us and we don't want to know also so that thing is same thing we are talking about abstraction so when a program when a software when a coding or when a system that hides the complexity of the program or complexity of the thing anything and gives us the only the essential features or the interface to work that is called abstraction okay next point is um encapsulation encapsulation like capsules you know what is capsule simple simple thing uh, what is the use of capsule it helps us uh, it uh, it is used to uh, cover up the medicine okay plastic packaging uh same thing also same thing we uh, same procedure or same com same concept uh is introduced in object oriented programming here we encapsulate or we wrap the data and code together in a place 
to save uh, the data and code from outer interface means uh, out from outside unauthorized users or unauthorized person cannot use those data and codes okay that is called encapsulation so class is a very good example of encapsulation because inside a class we keep our data and functions both means data and uh, um, methods together so class is a very good example of encapsulation next topic is inheritance it is a concept in which a class gets access to the members of another class means it can uh, access the property of the another class of another class that is called superclass and subclass method means superclass and subclass concept here subclass can uh, access the properties or the functions data of superclass okay so it is called inheritance that word that word came from uh, it has come from uh, in uh, heredity heredity from heredity word okay so um, inheritance facilitates course code reusability the same code needed uh, need not be written repeatedly in in case multiple uses uh, are needed so with the help of inheritance the more frequently required code can be made the super or base class and it can be inherited by other classes so the main thing main concept is uh, in super class or sub class sub class that is child class can access or can use all the facilities or all the thing belongings of super class like you can use all the things not always you have to take prior permission also uh, you can use the things of your father or mother your parents parents property you can use like same similarly here also uh, child class can use the property of parent class so that is called inheritance next important topic is polymorphism actually polymorphism that word uh, came from two different words that is poly that is many and morphism phases means when uh, we can use our codes more than one time or same code for different times or same name uh, same name uh, for more than one time that is called polymorphism means uh, what i am telling that uh, uh, suppose we we have created one function one method same name we can use for more than one times okay that is called polymorphism here and uh, uh, under this we are, we can we will see two main properties first one is overloading and second one is overriding so what is overloading and what is overriding overriding means when we can write uh, same name uh, same function name uh, more than one time inside a single class inside a single class that is called um, uh, function overloading okay and overriding means when we can create same name in different classes that is called overriding okay that is the main different thing we will learn these things in uh, other classes in other class that is called function function overloading and function overriding is the part of inheritance in inheritance we can see function overriding function overloading uh, concept is that uh, function name will be same but only the parameter lists will be different either the name of the param uh, either type of the parameters or number of the parameters will be different so what is function that we will learn later and uh, now we will uh, we will know only that thing is that uh, polymorphism is having two different parts overloading and overriding okay and the last topic that we will learn from this chapter is message passing okay or messaging what is message passing we know that messaging we, we do messages uh, through um, messaging softwares like uh, different uh, whatsapps and this type of things we are having already we know we use here in computer system in our coding programming actually one function uh, passes some data to other functions using messaging okay that passing the datas or passing the values from one part to another part one function to another function that is called messaging or message passing that concept came from our messaging only okay simple messaging okay so from this class 
little bit idea I think you have got about object oriented programming concept. If you have any question you can uh, ask also in our comment box and um, after that you have book um, you go through the uh, chapter properly read the chapter one by one uh, line by line. Uh, rest of the things you will get your own also otherwise we are here always we will be there for help and uh, afterwards if uh, finish your exercises um, as early as possible because we are having less time and uh, stay at home be safe because uh, we are fighting against a very dangerous virus that is you know COVID-19 coronavirus okay so for today, that's it.